Hello everyone, uh, I'm Anne here from Anne Makes. Welcome to my channel and uh, Happy New Year. This will be my first video of 2018 and today is Sunday. I apologize if there's a little bit of shaking. I am on uh, using a selfie stick right now and as you can see behind me there, there is a lovely assistant. <laughs> she's, she's still with me. And uh, I am here in my living room right now and giving you an overhead, sh uh, over my shoulder shot of what my studio is supposed to uh, be. That's all there is to it right now. And uh, I will turn around to show you uh, in a little bit uh, what the progress that has been made. But today I have a Dollar Tree and Dollarama haul to share with you. So if you are interested in seeing my little hauls, uh, stay tuned. And if you want to see the status of my studio, uh, hang on. I'm going to show you that right now. All right. So here's uh, a view over my shoulder. And now I'm just going to switch the angle. Hold on. All right, here is the entrance to my studio. Yeah, it's it's all glass doors. This is from the main part of my house here. And, um, sorry, but making you a little dizzy. Okay, so as we enter this set of glass doors, we are in the studio. The noise you hear is the heater that we have going on right now because the heating has not been installed yet. Um, it's actually, part of it is installed, but the thermostats and the actual connection has not been made. So here we are, this is it, this is my studio. It's not ready, I was hoping uh, it would be done, but of course it's not. Uh, it seems to be a part-time job for the contractors I have hired, um, which doesn't please me, but what can I do? I am hoping that they will uh, return to work this week and uh, continue with this because I'm dying to move in here. So now uh, uh, this is all I have to show you of my studio. This is uh, this is it. That's the shell of it. And so now for the Dollar Tree and Dollar Land. So as I said, I have my very first Dollar Tree Dollarama haul to share with you of 2018. I went to uh, a new to me uh, Dollarama and Dollar Tree yesterday. I was in the city of Ottawa and I had only 15 minutes uh, to stop at the Dollarama and I needed specific items, which I got and I'll show that to you afterwards. And uh, I went to a Dollar Tree that is Apparently, uh, it's, a, it's a newer Dollar Tree in the area, and I had been told by other people uh, to check it out because it's very large. So I did. I did have the opportunity to check that out yesterday. Uh, I did find a lot. They were clearing off the shelves mostly from, I guess, Christmas, and they were just starting to put the Valentine's Day and St. Patrick's Day stuff on there. And I have to say, although it's a newer store and it's, it is quite large, I thought it was very uh, disorganized compared to some other stores that I'm used to shopping at. But I did still find some things that I haven't seen at uh, my Dollar Trees. One of those things I found at uh, this Dollar Tree is if they had a lot of breads. They had a lot of the Dempster breads, which I never find at my local Dollar Tree. So I did stock up on a few loaves of the Dempster's uh, multi-grain bread. And my husband was trying to help and he put, he already put them away in the freezer downstairs. So that's why I don't have them to show you. And I did purchase some of the bagels also. And the expiration date was not until I believe next week. So it's pretty good. So they're, they're frozen fresh. And I got these uh, Passion Flaky from uh, Vachon, the little cakes. And these are the apple cinnamon. And they have an expiration date of, I believe it's sometime mid-April. And uh, my family, my boys love to 
uh, munch on these uh, for like a little dessert or something. So uh, I got this for them. So for $1.25 for these snack cakes and $1.25 for loaves of bread and um, a package of six bagels. I mean, that's, that's a pretty good deal. So that was the bread stuff. And the other goodies that I purchased, of course, were my Twizzlers. I love Twizzlers. So I got a few packages of these. And by the way, I said $1.25 for the loaf of bread. That's because I am in Canada and the items we purchase in our Dollar Trees here in Canada are $1.25 each versus $1 in the US. Another item that um, my guys like are the bubble gums and these are the right size to fit in our gumball machine. I had bought some other bubble gum from Dollarama and they're slightly too big to fit in the hole, although nobody has any problem eating them. <laughs> but I got the right size this time from Dollar Tree. Um, and I think that's it in terms of sweets and foods that I, I purchased from Dollar Tree. And if I think of anything else, I'll, I'll insert it here. The first crafty thing I wanted to show you were these Valentine's Google Eyes. And the, the pupils, like if you see, instead of little black pupils, you have little red hearts for it. Uh, so they like googly heart eyes. I just thought these were kind of fun. So I got, oh, I got two packages, or no, I think I just got one package of these Valentine's Googly Hearts. And there are 60 in this pack. I saw these very sweet thank you cards. I've seen other people haul this design. I had not seen it at my store and I thought it was so lovely. And I had to get get a package for myself because I, I just love the picture of the deer and the little forest animals. And I just thought, oh, what a sweet way to say thank you to someone. I picked up this package of stickers uh, vegetable stickers. I'm pretty sure I don't have vegetable stickers in all the stickers that I have. And I just thought these were really beautiful. <laughs> it just, they're really nice. And there's a lot on here for, for you know, $1.25. And it says they are 3D. I, I guess they are. Glitter gel stickers that are 3D. I guess if you twist them in a way, you'll, it's 3D. I don't know. But I just thought they were beautiful. So I got these to add to my big sticker collection. And the oh other stickers I got. I actually saw Tina the other day. She hauled these. And I thought, oh, they're so cute. And uh, they had put very few out at this Dollar Tree that I was at. But they had these. So I had to get them because, of course, they have kitty cats on them. And I just think they are the sweetest. And there's also a hot air balloon here. A couple hot air balloons. That's really, really cute for Valentine's Day. Or any any time you want to put a little sticker, a little love, love sticker on a piece of mail or pocket lid or a craft or card. And I also got this package of heart doilies. There are 16 in here. They're, they're very nice size. They're this, I love the pink color. Just lovely. Uh, lots of possibilities for this, of course, to use when you're serving uh, foods, little, little sandwiches, little cookies, macaroons. Uh, look lovely presented on this on a platter. But they're also great for wrapping pocket letters. They're great for making cones, for uh, making little Mayflower bouquets. There's all sorts of uh, uses for these doilies. And then I saw these window stickers. <laughs> that is a perfect. And of course, there's two kitties. And black kitty and pink. And those are, I have a black, you know, I, I my cat is black and I love that. I love to have anything that's kitty related. And I love the color pink. So I just, I wanted to get more of these because I thought these would be so much fun to put in the windows of you, as I showed, I just showed you, uh, what my studio looks like. There's a lot of glass. So I just wanted to get more of these, but this was the only sheet there. So I have to keep my eyes open when I go to other Dollar Trees, if I have the opportunity to go before I actually have to travel um, because I, I love the kitties. So got that. And in the beauty aisle, I wanted to get some um, Lipsol 
for my guys, you know, this time of year. We get very dry chap lips because of the extreme cold, so I wanted to get them this lip seal. I got that. And right across from those, uh, they're on the, where they had the makeup hanging, I saw these little e.l.f eyeshadow applicators and they're just look they're very if you can see my hand they're very small there's an applicator tip and they look like nice quality tips uh, so it's a one handle here you can't really see it because it's clear in the center and I said these are great to put in a compact or when you're traveling and I also use uh, makeup applicators. I mostly use makeup applicators in my crafting and I just thought these had a really nice sponge Spongy tip to them. So for that purpose, like I'll probably keep one or two in my makeup and the rest will go in my craft stash and The other thing I was really excited to find this um, Is the crafted decoupage papers. They had these beautiful sets of decoupage paper they got this one a uh, decoupage paper tends to be like a, a thin uh, a, a thin yet resilient tissue paper that uh, does not tear as much as tissue paper when you apply um, a glue sealer finish such as Mod Podge when you are doing uh, Mod Podging or decoupage which is the original term so they also had this one and they had this really cute one with the robots and this one is a lovely wood and there's two kind there's two in here the wood and the butterflies and this one is the roses two types of roses and i should i should check for you to tell you how much there is in here. So there are four sheets of each of the two designs and each sheet measures 18.8 centimeters by 35 centimeters. Uh, yeah, those are the, the dimension. One more item I want to show you is they have these, what do you call these, corner shelf organizer thingies that you put in kitchen cupboards like they show here so i got a couple of those uh i have uh, a need to put this perhaps in some of my cupboards but if they don't fit i will keep them for my future cupboards in my uh, new studio craft room so that is it for my dollar tree haul and I'm going to share with you now my Dollarama haul because it's not very, very big. So when I went to, Do I stopped at Dollarama and like I, I said already, I only had like 15 minutes uh, because I was dropping off someone and picking someone up. So uh, I went in needing the disposable kitty litters. Um, these are the stack of kitty Kit Kat uh, by Solar disposable cat litters that I got for kitty um, there you think I got there's five here I actually bought four yesterday I already had one and uh, these are great for me to have peace of mind to know that my cat is going to have a clean litter while I'm gone <laughs> and the uh, garbage bags from Dollar Tree are to make life easier for everybody <laughs> if you know what I mean and I wanted to get some more clear storage bins and I was hoping that this store would have them because I'm used to finding my clear storage bins at my Dollarama but they only have a few each time I go and <laughs> I walked into this big Dollarama it's a really big one in, in the city of Ottawa and oh my goodness they have an entire aisle of these clear storage bins I'm like oh my goodness uh, had I known I would have made one trip and bought like 30 of them in one shot instead of buying them three four five at a time I've like I've been doing at my local Dalrama because they only put out so many each week it just, it just goes to show you that every Dollarama and every Dollar Tree has this different different setup as you 
may already be watching my videos, you know how much I, I love to uh, organize things in my house with these clear storage bins. I've been doing a lot of uh, cleaning and decluttering and all that. So I just wanted to get a few more of these because that's exactly what I needed for certain stuff I'm organizing in the basement. So I got these four and they are $3.50 piece with of course uh, the clear lids and then I was so surprised to see another type of clear storage container and that I just thought this is perfect I have been buying so many types of organizers for my new future studio and I've been shopping online for containers and it's there's, you know, the price range, the rate, the price print, the prices range all over the place. So uh, I was happy to find these at Dollarama. They're not a dollar. They are four dollars a piece, but they are a nice, good, solid plastic. I would compare these to some of the totes I have purchased at Michaels, honestly, in terms of the quality of the plastic. Uh, but they are only four dollars and they have these little latches now these would fit perfectly for papers that are eight and a half by eleven I tried it already and there's room there's still room to spare in them and I love that they latch so nicely they're good latches they're not cheapy and so they have these clear bins they have the latches in different colors. I took the two pink ones that they had, but they I don't they didn't have a lot of these, so I don't know if they these have been around for a while and they won't be getting any more. I have no idea, but I picked up the two because I knew I could use two for sure. And if uh, hopefully if I do want more and I go back or I send somebody that I know back to that store. To look for me um they will have more but i can't you know, i don't know it's a risk that i'm taking now one other thing that i found at this dollarama that i haven't been able to find at my local stores are the pads of paper they had this beautiful pad of paper the scripts and music notes it's uh, a dcwv pad die cuts with a view and you pay four dollars for this uh, stack of I believe 12 inches by 12 inches 36 so you have 36 sheets in here including vellum with gold foil so this is quite a beautiful stack of paper and I am kicking myself for not having picked up two now because I absolutely love the prints in here and the colors so vintagey and feminine at the same time I absolutely love it it is beautiful high quality paper so I got this and the other stack they had also from uh, die cuts with a view DCWV this time it's a 50 sheet pad of the chalk party paper and I thought, well, I'm not um, that crazy about the colors in here, except that I thought it was neat because they're all chalkboard paper. And what I thought was also a, was just a great bonus, and mind you, this was, like, you might say, well, that seems like a lot, $4 for something from the dollar round, but these are really expensive if you purchase them at other stores, and our choices are limited here in Canada, so... Um, we have to pay a lot of money for these. We usually pay, if we want this new, we usually pay over $30. There are templates at the back. It includes templates to make party hats and little uh, gift boxes, cupcake wrappers, uh, and other, I think this one's up, this little, little boxes. I mean, you can make all, so you have you can make all sorts of lovely things so you have these templates so to me the four dollars is worth it just for the templates that I can reuse and reuse with any type of uh, paper that I have in my collection 
I also saw the die cuts with a view DIY project stack banners with burlap. So these are burlap on cardstock. They are amazing. And uh, there are instructions for how to make your banner. There are instructions for how to make the huge paper rosettes. Everything is set up for you. All you have to do is cut and put it together. Uh, we, uh, there are lines for you to cut and it's an easy peasy project. And although there was no price on this or was there a price on the, on the wall to tell me how much these were, these actually turned out to be $3 each. So that's what I got. And if I forgot anything, I will insert pictures here of the other items. Here's some other items uh, that I purchased at Dollar Tree, some garbage bags, some kitty cat pan liners, and a package of paper plates. And, oh, the one more thing that I picked up at Dollar Tree, I forgot to show you, were uh, foam core boards. So I got a few boards like this in order to make uh, to have this on hand for projects and also because it makes it makes for some really nice uh, drawer organizers you, you just I can cut myself and organize in my drawers so uh, that's that for my first uh, video haul of 2018 thank you so much for watching I hope you like this video please give it a thumbs up please uh, share the video comment and if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I'd love to have you as a subscriber. Uh, please take care of yourself and I hope you have a great day. Bye.